Hey guys, welcome to Spec Transfer and to topic 3.4.6, biodiversity within a community from the AQA A-level biology specification. This is a very short and simple topic to cover. First, we should know that biodiversity can relate to a range of habitats from a small local habitat to the earth, and also be able to define species richness. Then we should also know about the index of diversity as well as the formula with which we can calculate it. Finally, we will consider how farming techniques reduce biodiversity and why a balance should be kept between conservation and farming and how this is done. So let's make a start. First, we need to know the definition of biodiversity. Biodiversity is the range and variety of genes, species and habitats within a particular region. This can relate to a range of habitats from a small local habitat to the earth. Then we need to know a few key terms. The index of diversity puts a figure to biodiversity, allowing us to numerically compare biodiversity. Species richness is a measure of the number of different species in a community and can be worked out by taking random samples within the community and then counting the number of different species. However, biodiversity is more than just species richness. It's also affected by the relative abundance of each species. This is known as species evenness, i.e. does one species dominate or do we have an even spread of different species? The index of diversity, as we said, puts a numerical figure to biodiversity. It can be calculated using this equation above. The capital N represents the total number of organisms of all species and the lowercase n represents the total number of organisms of one species. The diversity index can be used to compare biodiversity of different ecosystems or to monitor change in biodiversity in a community over time. The greater the biodiversity, the more healthy the community. Finally, we need to consider farming and biodiversity. So how do farming techniques reduce biodiversity? Due to a growing human population, there is increased demand for food. Therefore, humans maximize food production, which unfortunately, in most cases, is at the expense of biodiversity. Humans reduce biodiversity in different ways, such as deforestation. This is done to increase the area for farmland. However, deforestation reduces the number of trees and tree species. It destroys habitats, meaning that species die or migrate. The removal of hedgerows is done to increase the size of fields in order to make farming more efficient. However, this reduces the number of trees and tree species, it destroys habitats, and again, species die or migrate. Humans also use pesticides and herbicides in farming in order to kill pests and weeds which would otherwise compete with the crops. However, this directly kills pests and affects organisms that feed on them, affecting the whole food chain. The same applies for herbicides. They reduce plant diversity, and this therefore affects organisms which feed on these plants, affecting the whole food chain. Finally, monocultures also reduce biodiversity. A monoculture is when only one crop is grown to make farming more efficient. However, this directly reduces diversity, as the monoculture can support fewer organisms as a habitat or food source, as we have fewer niches. However, there has to be a balance between biodiversity and farming. This is because a reduction in biodiversity could affect food chains that we rely upon, as well as natural food chains. A less diverse ecosystem is also more at risk of collapsing at an environmental change. And finally, there's also a moral responsibility to preserve species. Great, that would be our topic covered. We've covered biodiversity and species richness, as well as the index of diversity. Finally, we've covered how farming techniques reduce biodiversity and how a balance should and can be kept between conservation and farming. Thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe, comment, add any ideas or suggestions. Next time we'll be looking at investigating diversity.